Welcome to the introduction podcast to our virtual writing lab here at Mayland Community College. If you've been to Mayland for any length of time and you used our traditional writing lab in the past, then you were probably aware of the fact that sometimes when you needed help in the writing lab, there wasn't a tutor on duty. Or maybe you just had a quick question or something that somebody could have answered for you in just a couple of minutes. So what we're trying to do with our virtual writing lab is really meet students' needs more effectively by allowing you to access the information you need and to have access to tutors at maybe a better um, direction and maybe kind of help you and make things a little more convenient. That's really what we want to do is to make sure that you have access to the help you need with your writing. The way a writing lab traditionally works, of course, is to help students with their writing. And any class that has writing in it, you can get help through our services with our writing lab. It doesn't have to be an English class. It can be any class that has writing. We have math classes that have writing in them. I know that's horrifying to math people, but it is true. We have history classes, film classes, dance, you could be a business, any class you're taking that you need help with writing, our services can be of assistance to you. On this webpage, congratulations, you found it already, uh, you've already found the first of the podcasts that we have available to you, which is the introductory podcast. Uh, you need to watch this introduction, so we'll give you some pointers and tips about how to use the Writing Lab, as well about, as, as about how to use some of the other uh, services that might be available to you. When you are given a writing assignment in any class, you want to go ahead and look into getting the writing lab services that you need. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until the day the papers do. We often will have people come in to get writing lab help and we'll ask, okay, when is this assignment due? Uh, today, 15 minutes, uh, and they haven't even started the research. Well, that's not such a good idea. So you want to make sure that you go ahead and get going with uh, your essay as quickly as possible. That doesn't mean that, that you should abandon hope if you get uh, in behind, but it's better and you're gonna have a better experience if you go ahead and plan ahead plan to use the writing lab early on in the semester and make some plans to make use of the services. When you get a writing assignment, the first thing you can do with our virtual writing lab is scroll through the topics that you'll see on the page and see what they are might answer your question already for you. Very often when we do a more traditional writing lab, we'll have students come in who say, I just need a little refresher on how to do that works cited thing. I looked at the book and it's been a long time and I just don't remember. Well, instead of having to sit down with a tutor and schedule a time, you can watch the podcast on how to do a works cited page in MLA format. And you can pause it at certain places. And you can go back and watch it again. You can watch it at 3 o'clock in the morning when I am not going to be available to you to answer your questions about MLA. In fact, if you call me at 3 o'clock in the morning to ask me about how to do MLA documentation, I'm not responsible for my response to you. So please make sure that you use these tools you know, as, as if you were just asking the questions that you need answered. So you'll see a variety of topics available to you that are very typical of the kinds of questions that students come in and ask. Uh, just need a little review on how to do this writing process thing. It's been a really long time since I wrote an essay. So that's what the virtual aspect of the writing lab can do for you. When you have a question, when you're writing an essay, go ahead and check on the podcast that might be useful to you. They're all short and they just give you a quick overview of a topic, an issue that we very frequently will have students struggling with when they come into the writing lab. Now, in addition to that, you'll still have access to actual tutors through our writing lab. It's really not entirely virtual, it's just sort of wallless or kind of wandering writing lab, but virtual sounds better. If you have a question about an assignment, first of all, if you have a question just about the directions, what an instructor is asking of you in an assignment, always go to the instructor. Don't come see a different tutor. Don't go see somebody else. Don't ask people in the library or people in line behind you at the convenience store. Um, that is really not a good direction to go. Always ask the instructor. And email the instructor. Uh, go see the instructor in person. If you just have a question about what is this assignment asking, very often students will just struggle on, they will write the wrong kind of paper, they won't do the assignment correctly because they didn't read the directions or they didn't understand them. Sometimes, granted, there might even be a mistake in the directions. What if there are two due dates on that paper? You need to talk to the instructor about that and figure that out. In addition, if you have questions that the podcast don't answer, if there's a grammar issue you're still struggling with, or if if, very importantly, you would really like someone to read through your paper with you, you can make an appointment and spend some time with either your instructor or one of the other tutors. 
Now don't think that you're going to drop your paper off and that we're going to wave pixie dust over it and you're going to come back in three hours and it's all perfect and beautiful. Uh, that's, that's not how that works. Every now and then students think, oh, well, I'm just going to bring you my paper and you're going to proofread and correct it. And sometimes I get smart with people and remind them that as a freelance proofreader and editor, I'm about $20 an hour, uh, which means they can't afford me uh, to do their English paper. No, that's not what we do with Writing Lab Tutoring, but we'll be happy to sit down with you, read through your paper with you, point out some things that might need work. One of the other great things a Writing Lab Tutor can do is actually point out what's right with your paper. Because sometimes students just assume it's a hopeless mess, it's all horrible, I need to start over. And in fact, it might have some great potential. And a tutor can say, right here, there is your thesis statement. It is mired in a mess of goo and gum, but there it is, and we can rescue that. Um, or they can say, this paragraph right here, this is how the rest of your paper ought to be structured. So having the tutor with you, it can be very helpful. And they can point out grammar issues as well. The tutors can do that. They can point out structure problems or areas that need refinement or things that need development. They can you know, give you that kind of feedback as well. So having a tutor can be really helpful. What will happen is every semester we'll put out a schedule that on and on that schedule we'll have the office hours at which times our different instructors who work as tutors will be available to you. Now it is always best to see the instructor for that class if you can. So for example if you're in one of my English classes and you would like someone to look over your essay before you turn it in it's really best if you come and see me because I actually do know my own preferences and uh, my, my assignments pretty well. So I'll be able to give you some really good useful feedback. But any of our other tutors would be great as well. So for example, if you're in an online class and your instructor for that online class is always here in the mornings, but you work all day, and the only time you could come over to campus would be in the evening. Well, then one of our instructors that's here in the evening and does writing lab tutoring would be a much better fit for you in terms of scheduling. So you can see any of the tutors, that's perfectly fine. When you go see the Writing Lab tutors, check the schedule again and see who's available at that time. You can go see. It's a good idea to make an appointment. It's just like the hair salon. Appointments are seen before walk-ins. Um, and occasionally you might get lucky and stick your head in the door and realize, oh, hey, you're free. Do you have like 20 minutes to look at my paper? Well, maybe, uh, but again, it's always a good idea to make an appointment so that you have that time set aside. For example, during certain times of the semester, I have student essay conferences, so I'm pretty slammed with students coming in, and you might not be able just to poke your head in. You'll need to make an appointment and, and claim some turf there in terms of time. Also, when you go to see those tutors, the other thing you'll see on our schedule is that we have a little notation there about everyone's specialties. Every tutor has particular things that that person you know, considers to be really specialties or areas that that person can really help you to perfect. All of our tutors can help you with grammar and, and basic kinds of issues, but for example, if you need help with MLA documentation, that's, that's me. I'm all over that. That's wonderful. If you have an essay for a class that's actually an APA documentation, those are the folks in psychology, and I sometimes joke that the reason they do that citation format is to drum up business for the mental health industry because that is a format that makes us MLA uh, folks just go, what? That's horrible! Oh, uh, you know, we don't find it user friendly. It's frustrating to us, uh, but that's that's okay because it works in that field. If you need help with that format, we have instructors who really do like APA. Uh, they actually like it. In addition to knowing how to do it, I can walk you through. The, I can show you how to do APA. Um, but with MLA, I can show you all the little wiggly areas and the the gray spots, and, and can really show you some things with it that maybe somebody couldn't. Who was just walking you through the, the guidelines. So if you need help, for example, with with, his, with a history paper, or if what you're concerned about is um, something for a particular kind of class, check the schedule and see the specialty areas of the instructors. That way you can make sure you get the best fit for you. Make an appointment. When you go see your uh, tutor for your writing lab appointment, uh, it'll be in the instructor's office unless you make arrangements otherwise, and you can. Uh, for example, if you're at the Avery campus, I'm often on the Avery campus. I can make arrangements to meet you there. Uh, you'll note uh, that some of the other instructors may be available at different places, which might in fact be more convenient to you. When you meet with that tutor, always make sure that you bring with you the assignment. That's really important, even if you're seeing the instructor for the course. But if, especially if you're seeing a different tutor, because if I'm helping you with an essay and I don't know 
how long it's supposed to be, how many sources you're supposed to have, when it's due, what your writing purpose is, what topic choices you have. I'm really just kind of fumbling in terms of helping you with the essay. So please make sure that you bring the directions so we know it's being asked of you in terms of the guidelines. Also make sure that you bring to the conference, if you have it, now if you're just um, needing some help with topics or something like that, you may not have much, but if you have a draft and you want it uh, to, want to sit down with the tutor and go over that draft, bring a printed out hard copy of the draft. Don't bring your zip drive. We're not in a writing lab with a bunch of computers where we can print something off. We're in our offices. And you don't want to waste your time with the tutor fumbling around on that zip drive trying to find your draft on here. So make sure you bring a hard copy printed out and the tutor will sit with you and we'll walk through that draft. We'll point out some things, we'll write all over it, we'll make little notes, we'll do all those kinds of things to help you. Also you want to make sure you use the material that's given to you by your writing lab tutors. Now we, we don't tell people that you're guaranteed to get an A if you come to the writing lab. You know, that's it's not that kind of thing. It's not like pizza. We don't do it, you know, promise it's gonna be there in thirty minutes or something. But we do guarantee that if you use the feedback that you get in the writing lab, you will have a more successful outcome than if you had come to not come to the writing lab. Even if your paper was amazing, and sometimes students bring papers to the writing lab and I think, wow, this is really, really a good essay. We could still make that, you know, that essay that was probably gonna be a 94, hey, might be a 97 now. Uh, we can still, there's always room for improvement. Even professional writers uh, know that. So we can help out. And maybe if that paper was not so hot, you know, we might just, the best we might do is make that paper that was doomed for a D into at least the potential for a B. Uh, but coming to the writing lab is definitely going to help. Uh, it doesn't mean it's going to get a certain grade. We're not going to make any promises about what grade you're going to get. So please don't ask us. Sometimes people will say, so uh, what do you bet this grade's going to get? This is not Harris Casino in Cherokee. Do not ask me to make bets. Instead, do remember that if you use the feedback we give you, uh, chances are the paper will definitely be more successful. Unfortunately, sometimes people don't use the feedback that we give them and the paper is not successful. So please make sure that you do that. Use your writing lab. In addition to the tutors, you also have access to resource materials. Um, you will see some PDFs some other links here on this page. But also we have a nice library with um, handbooks, um, you know, just little handbooks like this, college handbooks and um, writing textbooks. Um, instructors often have just ukaboodles. These things are given to us as free samples or extras and we keep all of those um, on in, in actually the back of the math lab. We have this nice little uh, area there where we have books. So if you need help with something, if you need uh, extra help with some literature, some pointers, there, there are those resources available to you. So check with your tutor because your tutor might be able to point you in the direction of some resources there. If you need some just grammar workbooks, we have some of those back there to give you some extra practice. So use your writing lab. It's for you. Make sure that you find the podcast that's going to be the best fit for you. Set up a time to meet with the tutor that fits your schedule and your needs the best and make sure that you use the feedback that we give you because we want you to be the best writer you can be here at Mainland Community College.